today we have finally sealed the deal with this by both Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Muhammad and also the Deputy Prime Minister of Singapore. Without doubt, this agreement would not have happened if not for our strong commitment to bilateral cooperation between our two countries. I'm confident that this spirit will see us through the final fusion of the Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail project. We understand why Malaysia needs to temporarily suspend the construction of the HSR project. So even though the HSR bilateral agreement has no provision for such a project suspension, but in the spirit of bilateral cooperation, Singapore has given Malaysia's request serious consideration. And after several rounds of discussions with Minister Asmin, we have reached a fair arrangement on the way going forward. And today's exchange of documents is to formalize our agreement on suspension. Construction of the project will be suspended till the end of May 2020. As suspension will involve some abortive costs, Malaysia will reimburse Singapore for the abortive costs. And by the end of May 2020, we hope to see the resumption of the high-speed rail construction. If not, the project will be deemed to have been terminated and Malaysia will reimburse Singapore for the wasted costs we have incurred fulfilling our HSR obligations till now. This decision to suspend will impact a number of stakeholders, existing contractors and also potential bidders for the high-speed rail project. 